So this morning, am I cycling? Yes. Am I doing a normal route or a normal ride? No. What we're doing is um, training as part of the, the training of the company that I work for. Um, we have to do a CPC t- training, same as uh, any driver that drives anything over um, three and a half ton vehicle. Um, you have to do 35 hours of CPC. It's a certificate of professional competence. You have to do 35 hours of training per five years. So as part of this, they're doing a course this morning. Um, we do ours in like separate different courses throughout the five years. Um, and this one this morning is on basically on driver safety and training. I think it's, it's but anyway, it's kind of cycling based. We're definitely going to have to cycle on bikes at some stage. Um, so I'm hoping they're going to let me do a bit of footage, not of the course, because obviously it's part of the company and they won't allow it, obviously, for obvious reasons. Um, but the cycling part, I'm hoping they might. But anyway, we'll see. Even if they don't, I'm going to get back to you and uh, tell you what the actual course was like, because it might be something that you uh, might want to promote to the company you work for, you know. Anyway, we'll see, and I'll speak to you later. Morning, guys. So um, this morning I'm out on my usual Sunday ride um, but I wanted to just uh, let you know what happened yesterday yesterday we weren't allowed to film for obvious reasons um, data protection and all that sort of stuff we weren't allowed to do any filming um, which to be honest is no big deal because um, we only actually cycled two miles in the end there was an awful lot of explaining an awful lot of stopping um, and many of the people we ride rode with kind of hadn't ridden on bikes at all for maybe 20, 30 years, some of them. So um, you can understand why they didn't really go very far. It wasn't very taxing. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll, um, I'll just tell you a bit more about it. It's really interesting. It's an interesting scheme um, and maybe something that, like I said, you or your company you work for may be interested in looking into if they don't already do it as part of a CPC. Um, but yeah, so I will tell you more about it on the ride. Um, we're not going anywhere particularly fancy today, I don't think. So um, I thought I'd have a good opportunity to tell you all about it and uh, sort of explain what it was all about. So I'll see you soon. So we're about eight miles in here at this point. Um, so I thought I'd explain a little bit more about the the, the course I went on yesterday, which was um, a course that's provided by the company so quite often um, drivers have to pay for this training themselves but um, luckily the company I work for set it all up and paid for it for us Um, so we're quite lucky in that respect there's about 18 of us that did it yesterday and we had a company come in and they provided uh, everybody with bikes those that didn't have them Um, so you could have ridden one of their bikes as well I chose to ride my own um, as did two or three other people um, and it's basically trying to train. Obviously, this is a, a London-based scheme, and, and a, not not the not the actual CPC, but this force part of the training is all London-based. Um, so it's all very very London-centric, and um, so it's all about trying to avoid further because there's a lot of lorry casualties in London, but then they're the only ones that. Um, get heavily um, kind of monitored so there's the statistics are a bit warped really because there aren't too many figures on cars and motorbikes and that sort of thing hitting each other so um, but anyway they're trying to cut down the amount of casualties because obviously in a big lorry um, the chance of hitting a cyclist because people cycle up the inside all the time um, is quite great because you're just not going to see them so it's trying to make the lorry drivers aware of what it's like to be a cyclist what, how vulnerable you feel and also um, trying to see things from the cyclist perspective as well the ones that behave well anyway um, yeah and it was really really useful a very good idea I think um, but trying to take 18 lorry drivers out on push bikes when they haven't cycled in a very long time was uh, entertaining. So an interesting 
interesting test now. We are doing 34 miles an hour nearly. We are now. So uh, if you can hear it, it'd be quite amazing really. Once we'd done uh, the initial check, so they do quite thoroughly um, tell you about the bikes, how to ride bikes and all this sort of thing. You have to bear in mind it starts at a very basic level because people, literally people haven't got on these bikes, um, haven't been on bikes for, for, for decades, some of them. So it is a very basic level that they start off with, but they're very th thorough. They lay all the bikes out and get everybody to choose the right size and uh, it's all very good. Um, the bikes were like Carrera mountain bikes. Yeah, so once everybody chosen their bikes, they did a little, uh, we had quite a long time to sort of get used to all the people who hadn't ridden the bikes. They could have a little go round and it was all, uh, luckily we were on like an industrial estate. Um, so it was all very safe and people then they had to do like a, a, an emergency stop test and that sort of thing so it was all fairly basic but um and how to change gears and that sort of thing um but this was all done before we actually went out everybody had to wear high vis clothing um yeah and it was all very well done the most important part of the whole um cycle training really was for them to emphasize to us the changes in the new highway code there's quite considerable changes on um, people crossing the road and um, the way in which r cyclists are recommended to go round roundabouts now is completely something I didn't know about um, so when you're going round a roundabout now it's recommended by the highway code that you stay in the left hand lane whether you're going left straight over or right you continue all the way around the outside of a roundabout signaling right if you're going to turn right but staying it in the in the left hand lane i mean it seems nonsense to me and the the, the trainer that we had demonstrated it and it all it does is confuse car drivers and it puts cyclists in a very vulnerable position so um whilst they said it is recommended by the high highway code they don't agree with it at all and it's really not very popular um so they were re recommending not to do it So the other new point to the highway code was, um, which was something they went through in massive detail. Um, we had a lot of training on junctions. So when somebody steps on the pavement, basically it's encouraging jaywalking. Um, but as soon as somebody steps off the pavement now on a junction, they have the right of way. So if you're turning into a road, you have to stop um, by the law as it is at the moment, which again doesn't you know if you if if you then turn it into the position of driving a lorry it's crazy dangerous it really is um but you know the law's the law and we've got to get used to it now but it's really not a great i don't know the people that think up these rules god knows so basically that was the premise of the the morning side of the course really so that we did the cycling bit and they did all that explanation then we all had a little ride back up to uh where we started um, and then it was kind of time for lunch at that stage.
Yeah, so once we uh, once we got onto the second part of the course, that was all cr- uh, classroom based um, and run by the Fours Company, um, and, or the trainer was Fours trained anyway. Um, so that was all more talking about London, about how man- many billions of pounds they've spent on redoing all the cycle lanes and all this sort of thing. So this time it was more talking about the views of the drivers and the problems they have um, with cyclists in London especially Um, you know which is what we need to talk about because we do go there a lot it wasn't just London I mean it applies to many different cities but it was kind of London based Um, so the, the, the whole rest of the afternoon was talking in the classroom watching videos and that kind of thing but the whole thing the reason I wanted to mention it because I did find it really good and really useful so if any of you i mean obviously we're all cyclists if any of you are lorry drivers as well um you get the chance to do this course or even if you're not a lorry driver and you get a chance to do the course i would oh no they're walking It'd be nice to go up near Portland. I'd like to do that. Yeah. We're doing that one on a Sunday. Yeah. And, uh, so you'll be hungover. <laughs> so I might have half a chance. Yeah. No. Well, Chris and Gary don't do drink. Do they them. don't. No. So they like good food. Yeah. Good food and a nice glass of wine. Nice glass of wine and early to bed. Five point plaster and crisp and red wine last Saturday. So that's more or less it about the course, really. There wasn't much more to it. Um, like I said, I would highly recommend it if you if you get the opportunity to do it. But other than that, um, back to today's ride. It was just me and Mark, um, just the two of us today. Uh, so we wanted to get a few miles in, so we were looking at doing about 50. I think it turned out about 53 miles, something like that. Um, so yeah, we headed out from Shaftesbury, went up Zigzag Hill. Um, what I have got coming up in a minute is uh, Zigzag Down. I haven't shown, I don't think, a video of going down Zigzag yet. Um, obviously, it's a hill we we do a lot. Um, so yeah, if anybody's interested in seeing that, wait till the end, uh, and we can uh, show you the footage of that. It is quite good because it's a dry day and. Uh, we could nip down there quite quickly this morning. Um, yeah. So also at this stage in the video, I need to mention um, liking and subscribing my videos. Um, if, you, if you're enjoying this um, or you've watched any of the others and, and you're enjoying it, please do subscribe. It means a lot and makes a lot of difference. Um, so if you could click the like button and subscribe, that would be amazing. Um, I don't ask very often, but yeah, we're trying to increase the traffic on the channel if we can do. So thank you in advance. Be a bit slippy, won't it? Yeah. I've got on, so I'm not going in. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. BMC and 
he's a lot fitter than I am.
if you're ever local, it's always worth a go. Very, very enjoyable. Okay, so that's it really. Um, that was about a 54 mile ride. I um, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed all the information about the um, CPC courses. Um, just comment if you wish to know any more or haven't included anything or whatever or any of what you needed to know. Other than that, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Take care.